Tensions running high today as day two of the Ken Paxton impeachment trial wraps up. Six News reporter William Johnson tells us about the testimony from a former employee and his accusations against the suspended attorney general. Yeah, still pretty interesting. Paxton's still a no-show, but he really wasn't the main character from what we heard today. In fact, we really only heard from one witness, Jeff Mateer. Now, Mateer served as the first assistant AG to Ken Paxton from 2016 to 2020, and he says a lot happened in just those four years. Now, Mateer answered a lot of questions involving his own understanding of Paxton's involvement with Nate Paul from July to October of 2020. He says that initially he urged his boss to cut ties. That was in July. Mateer claims Paxton said, OK, fine. But as time went on, his actions didn't match his promise. He tried to hire a lawyer to even help Paul, who was being investigated by law enforcement. But Paxton's staff, which included Mateer, wouldn't approve it. And ultimately, Mateer said he had to make a tough decision to protect the office of the attorney general or Ken Paxton himself. I concluded that you know, Mr. Paxton was engaged in, 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 in conduct that was immoral, unethical, and, and I had a good faith belief that, that it was illegal. Coming up at 6, I'll be diving more into all the details of what we learned from today and the ways each side is trying to paint their side of the story. I'm William Johnson with 6 News.